So as you guys can guess, I'm just gonna be camping in my front yard for the night and we'll see how it happens. We'll see what happens. Time to set up all of this craziness. Here's the main tent. I think that's the awning and then the posts and the pegs. I'm gonna be setting this up all by myself and it's an eight person tent, but I'm gonna be sleeping alone. Our first major problem, guys. Somebody usually holds that up when I put these in. It's impossible to do with one person. So I'm gonna to go to the barn and I'm gonna find a two by four in order to prop this whole thing up so I don't have to have someone hold it. That way I can get all four ends in because yeah, you, you can't do that on your own. This is way too big of a tent. Well, all of this stuff, it's too short. So I might as well screw myself over just trying to do it by myself. I really don't know how that's gonna work though. Oh man. I don't even know how I got this thing up by myself. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's kind of a miracle how this all happened. What I managed to do, well, I guess it isn't a miracle. There's logic. This pot, I put that post against it. So I managed to get this in without it shooting out the back. And then I just stabbed the other post in the ground. And now all I have to do is get the, uh, the roof part on. So if it rains, it doesn't get dirty. I mean, get wet. And then I have to do some sweeping in there to get all the junk out. And then I'll be a, a livable headquarters. So we got the whole tent set up. The only thing that we need to go and do is there's a lot of grass, glow stick caps. Speaking of glow sticks, I'm actually gonna crack one tonight. That would be a brilliant idea. And then hang it from that little loop up there for a nightlight. That way I don't waste battery on my lantern the whole time. But yeah, I'm gonna, of course, clean out the bottom of the floor and then I gotta move all my uh, sleeping gear in here uh, at the end of the night. And I have the window open now, but if it starts raining, that thing's going closed, but I have the whole awning on. So if it does start raining, we'll be able to survive. I just have to hit the, uh, the, uh, the window. So it doesn't like start pouring in here, but I, th I think I'm pretty happy with how this setup is. It's a huge, huge living space in here. Like this is way more way more room than I would need. It's an eight person tent, but it'll work and this will be a lot of fun. So I'll catch you guys when, uh, after I'm done cleaning this and I'll put my bedding gear and stuff in here. All right, so I'm just packing up the uh, things I need. Random color glow stick, a flashlight, as well as the camping lantern, Nintendo Switch, and I think I'll take this set of throwing knives as well for extra protection. Wait, if you're curious, this is a uh, kind of my knife setup. Uh, I don't have them very organized, very random. If I have my throwing knives, I don't think I'll need anything else. But if I were to have anything else, this is a knife. It's another Smith and, Smith and Wesson knife. Let me see if I can get it open. If I hold it with this, this hand, I can do the little, uh, this thing. Anyways, I'll pack this as well. Might as well be safe than sorry, you know? So pack that as well. And the bedding. So yeah, and we'll be uh, good to camp out for the night. All right, so I almost have everything, the bedding gear, the bag, and I'm gonna throw it all in the tent. Yeah, and then I have one more thing I need to grab yet, a yoga mat, which gives to the ground some extra comfort because the ground is pretty hard, and plus that will give me a little bit of insulation between the ground and where I'm gonna be sleeping. So, gotta grab that yet. Vitamin water, very refreshing. Well guys, we made it out here in the tent and it's getting close to, well, it is already dark, completely dark outside. Um, 
We made it out here. We're gonna snooze, gotta set up the bed yet, and then uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll for the night. All right, so the glow stick is like so expired. The glow stick doesn't even show up on camera. Unfortunately, that's a little bit sad because I've had this glow stick for like probably well over eight years. They're super duper old glow sticks. So all I have for lighting is this and my flashlight, taser. But when I go to sleep, it's not like I'll need much light anyways. So yeah, I gotta get the bed set up and then I'm gonna do a patrol of the farm, what's going on at night at the farm and then I'll head to bed and then tomorrow I'll cook breakfast over an open fire. It's pretty simple setup. Let me get the light so I can show you guys this. Just a pillow, yoga mat, and three blankets and I hear a cat stirring around outside. So now it's time to do the midnight patrol. First thing on the midnight patrol, cats out here by the garden. These guys are nocturnal. They are out all night, sleep during the day. Going to check up on the campfire. These, uh, we started the fire here, so. Yeah, there's still hot coals. Oh my gosh, I got dust all over my phone. Great. This is the dogs. They will warn me if there's any crazy animals. So yeah, I'm thankful for them. They'll keep me safe. And now, I really hope I don't see anything spooky in the woods. If I were to see something spooky pop out in the woods, I'd be horrified. Like, you know, all of a sudden, like there's a person standing there. I sure hope that doesn't happen. I'm actually not gonna walk the woods. So yeah, see you when we get to the cat's pen. Already see two of the cats. Laughing Gravy and Firefly are out here. There's a third one, Annie. They don't sleep at night, but we'll walk out towards the end of the driveway and see what's happening. Walking up to the cat's domain. And here is, what's this guy's name? This, this one's, oh shoot, Snowball. Yeah, Snowball, of course. Jesus. All right. None of them are asleep. None of them are chilling. They're nocturnal. And yeah, there's, there's, all of them are here. I really hope there's nothing creepy out here. I don't want to see anything creepy. Hey guys, so I'm just walking back to the campsite. Nothing happening out here late at night, which is good. I don't want anything bad to be happening out here. Sorry, you can barely see me. Um, but yeah, I'm just walking back to the campsite. Really, there's not much to see, so I'm glad about that. So before I go to bed, I think I'm just gonna hit up some uh, Mario Kart 8 and enjoy some uh, time on the Nintendo before I call it quits for the night. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Well, guys, it's the next morning. I managed to sleep the whole night. It dropped down to like 55 degrees, but I grabbed a sleeping bag and an extra blanket, and I was completely fine. So now it's time to start a fire and get breakfast going. Coffee taste test time. It tastes pretty great. So if you're wondering how to make this, this is what I call a Rocky Road Trail. It is Nutella and peanut butter grilled in a, a cast iron thing. So it's like Reese's, it's pretty good. All right, so that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Follow the social media links in the description. And until next time, see you later.